hi hello welcome to my youtube channel next i am going to explain exercise 3 okay up to exercise 2 completed we are in the chapter algebraic expression right so next in this first question find the length of the line segment pr in the following figure in terms of a okay we should find the line segment pr p2 or we should find out see here in the figure p to q length is given p q length is 3a q to r q r length is 2a how you can get total length pr if you add this two you can get how once here c p q p q 3a is given and q r 2a is given okay 2a this is the given information from this we need to find out PR length how much okay line segment PR how much see here PR how you can get by adding this to P Q plus Q R okay if you add this two you can get the total length PR so 3a plus 2a how much 5a total length PR is 5a okay Next, C. Second question, first bit. Find the perimeter of the following triangle. Find the perimeter of the following triangle. C. Perimeter in the sense, the length of to boundary of the closed figure is called perimeter. So, boundary length they have given. So, perimeter of triangle formula is, this is the second question, first bit. We should add all three sides. Perimeter of triangle formula perimeter of triangle sum of three sides we can take sum of three sides okay now three sides add sum means what we should add addition okay so every side we should add so 6x plus 5x plus 2x if you add these are the lag terms right so 6 plus 5 11 11 plus 2 13 13 x is the perimeter of triangle okay next the second bit find the perimeter of the following rectangle rectangle is given so here second bit rectangle given perimeter of rectangle formula already you know what is that 2 into l plus b perimeter of a rectangle okay here length is 2a 3x breadth is means 2x okay so 2 into l length 3x plus breadth 2x now 2 into 3 plus 2 5x again we can do multiplication 2 5 is a 10x okay this is the perimeter of rectangle next third question subtract the second term from the first term okay first you should know what is first term what is the second term here first bit is 8x comma 5x see here 8x 5x in this first term is first term first you should mention otherwise you will forget this is the second term 5x okay here comma is there this is the first term this is the second term okay you should subtract second term from the first term from the first term you can subtract second term okay so from the first term you can subtract second term okay 8 minus 5 3 3x is the answer in the similar way remaining two also we can do the subtraction see second one 5p comma 11p now you got idea see here what is the first term high p second term 11p we should subtract second term from the first term okay so here 5p minus 11p okay how much you will get minus 6p you will get as a no okay next third one third one here 13m square 2m square okay here also same 13 m square minus 2 m square directly I am writing the step see 13 minus 2 what you will get 11 yes 11 
M square. This is the third solution. Next, find the value of the following monomials if x is equal to 1. See fourth question. Directly we can substitute the value of x here. Okay, simply I am substituting here only. See, instead of x we need to write 1. So, minus 1 directly. Next, 4 into x place what we should write 1. So, 4 ones are 4. Next, here also minus 2 into here x place we should write 1. So, 1 square. If you multiply 1 2 times you will get 1 square in the sense what 1 into 1. 1 only. So, minus 2 into 1 square value 1 only. Now, minus 2 into 1 minus 2 only. Minus 2 is the answer. Okay, next to fifth question I am going to explain. Simplify and find the value of this expression when x is equal to minus 1. Very simple. First, I am writing the given expression. 4x plus x minus 2x square plus x minus 1. Okay, when x is equal to minus 1. Okay, directly you can substitute the x value here. Before going to substitute, just you can modify the expression. See, like terms you can add first of all. 4x plus x, 5x, 5x plus x, 6x. 6x minus 2x square minus 1. Now you can substitute the value of x here. So, in place of x, we need to write minus 1. Okay, now... 6 into minus 1, minus 6. Here minus into minus. First before that, do one thing. Minus 1 square is there, no? First you can find that value. Minus 1 into minus 1. Okay? Minus into minus plus 1 into 1, 1. So minus 1 whole square value is plus 1. Instead of this value, you can take just plus 1. Minus 1 as it is. Minus 6, no? You can... Minus into plus, minus 2 into 1, 2. Minus 1 as it is. Now all numbers are minus in the same symbol. So you should take minus as it is. Just you can take the numerical values and we should add. 6 plus 2, 8. 8 plus 1, 9. Minus 9 is the answer. Very simple. Okay. Next, sixth question. Sixth question. Write the expression in its simplified form find its value when x is equal to minus 2 first i am writing given expression 5x square minus 4 minus 3x square plus 6x plus 8 plus 5x minus 13 okay now we should simplify this the expression first of all okay first to see the like terms 5x minus 3 this is plus 5 this is minus 3 so you can subtract so you will get 2x square next x terms see 5 6 11 we should add 11x next constants see here plus 8 minus 4 plus 4 plus 4 here minus 13 13 minus 4 if you do 9 you will get but what 9 minus 9 why because here minus number is only the greater value when compared to the place so minus 9 you will get now you can substitute x is equal to minus 2 which is given in the question itself okay now 2 into minus 2 whole square plus 11 into minus 2 minus 9 okay first you can find the value of minus 2 whole square how many how much number power is there that many times we need to multiply okay 2 is there means 2 times we should multiply minus 2 minus into minus plus 2 2 is a 4 so here 4 plus into minus minus 11 2 is a 22 minus 9 2 4 is a 8 minus 22 minus 9 first to minus numbers we should add minus here 22 9 you should add okay here if you add these two numbers means you will get 11 here 2 plus 1 3 31 minus 31 from that number you can subtract 8 if you subtract 8 what you will get 23 okay minus 23 why because minus symbol is there for this greater number okay 
next next seventh question see here seventh question if x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2 find the values of the following expressions that expressions we need to find out the values once see here this time writing the c seventh question right i am writing here seventh question first bit 4x minus 3y plus 5 here x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2 we need to substitute 4 into 1 minus 3 into 2 plus 5 4 ones are 4 minus 3 twos are 6 plus 5 okay 4 plus 5 9 minus 6 9 minus 6 3 okay next second expression given that x square plus y square now x value 1 square plus 2 square 1 square means 1 2 square means 4 5 is the answer next to third expression here what is given third expression x y plus 3 y minus 9 x is 1 y is 2 yes plus 3 into 2 minus 9 2 1s are 2 plus 3 2s are 6 minus 9 6 plus 2 8 8 minus 9 minus 1 ok this is the 7th question now I am going to explain 8th question I hope you understood 7th one next 8th question is what is given 8th question see area of rectangle is given by A is equal to L into B if L is equal to 9 cm, B is equal to 6 cm, find its area. Area of rectangle we need to find out. Okay. Already you know the formula. Area of rectangle. L into B. Okay. L is equal to 9 cm given. B is equal to 6 cm given. Now, L 9 9 cm and B 6 cm. Centimeter into centimeter, centimeter square we should write. Okay. 9 6. Okay. 54 centimeter square. Area of re re rectangle. We, we should write 54 square centimeter also. SQ square centimeter also we should write. Okay. Next, ninth question is there. Sim simple interest is given by i is equal to ptr by 100 if b is equal to 900 t is equal to 2 years and r is equal to 5 percent find the simple interest simple interest formula i is equal to ptr by 100 okay Sim that is the ninth question simple interest formula ptr by 100 all values are given directly i am substituting P is 900 into T 2 years 5 is R is 5 percent by 100. Okay. Now 100 ones are 100 nines are 9 into 2 into 5. Okay. 2 fives are 10. 10 nines are 90. Okay. Simple interest 90 rupees. Okay, this is the ninth question. Now, last question is there. Tenth question. See, the relationship between speed, distance, time is given by S is equal to D by T. Find the value of S. Okay. Now, D is given 135 meters. T is given 10 seconds. Okay. Very simple. 13.5 that speed okay meters per second meters per second okay i hope you understood thank you if you are watching first time please do subscribe my channel share and you can click on the bell icon so you can get the notifications when i will post the videos okay thank you